Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and this is part one of my review for latest update, the Pete Expeditions. And if you are waiting for me saying anything negative about Expeditions, not in this video. But I will say it in next one. So, in this video I want to tell you what Expedition did right. What is amazing about the latest update that we just received. As you know, we can visit the pit, we can go on expedition and those new maps are actually big. I'm happy with that, the size of the map, they are quite spacious, there is something to do in there, there is adventure waiting, they look different than Appalachia. There is nothing you could complain, the maps are amazing, there is interior and exterior, there are two different maps that we can visit, there are trucks swarming us on both of those maps, it is great and simultaneously we have new toys, especially new power armor and new weapon, the auto axe, which are really cool, like power armor is unique. It's like the third power armor on my list that I could choose from. So far it was only like Excavator or Hellcat that I counted as valuable options. Now the Union power armor is joining with unique poison resistance combined with a carry weight. It is great. And how we unlock it? We farm the plants. Unfortunately only one per week. But here goes Stumps. The new currency that is super controversial and I love it. I love stamps and you would ask why is that? Because I hate RNG and with stamps I can slowly but surely farm for whatever I want to get from expeditions first. And that's the best for me. I already bought the most essential plants. I have them, I can use new toys, I have a blast, honestly, I have a blast. On the live stream today I will be using my new build with this new power armor and auto axe and it's so satisfying to use, it is great and only thanks to stamps I was able to do it so quickly. If this would be just RNG, like previously from Daily Ops, I would probably spend to don't lie to you like three or four months to do the same thing as I did in over a week. So I love stamps. This is amazing solution. Just the hard work towards your goals. No RNG. There are still random drops. So if you are super lucky, you will get it without hard work. But I'm okay with working towards my goals. Simultaneously, the entire idea of going outside of Appalachia, the framework, getting the vertibird, flying out for the expedition, it's great for the future content. What is already in my head, imagine in future content will be something like a single player part, like single player mission, something like Far Harbor in Fallout 4. This frame row, framework should give this opportunity. So maybe in the future something like that will be possible too, maybe we'll get it. And back to rewards for a second. After we complete expedition, the rewards are really good. We're getting legendary modules. That's the most desired currency in end game. So being able to farm some additional legendary modules, it's great. It drops on us as well a lot of legendary items. So that fills all my need for script. And sometimes if I'm lucky, one of those legendary items is actually useful. Fortunately, legendary system is full RNG, so that's not happening often, but it can. Another thing that I love about expeditions, no time limits whatsoever. No time limits at all. You can go there, it can take you time. There is story. I like this aspect, there is story, there is not only environmental storytelling, but as well, as well, you can just talk with characters in there. By doing those missions you can add 
ask additional questions, figure out what's going on, what happened inside the pit, what are fanatics doing, what are settlers, the union doing in there, what is all going on, and probably in the future we'll figure out even more, which is which is great, and it's like fully optional, as we can skip dialogues and just if you are into running and gunning enemies down absolutely you can do that you can ignore the story if you want you can dig deeper into the story if you choose to do so and that's huge this ability in multiplayer online game is great and as i said multiplayer online game it is amazing with a team but in the same time you can absolutely go there do it solo slightly higher challenge if you go solo because it does not like difficulty does not scale at all it doesn't matter if there's more people or less people there is no difficulty choice so solo is slightly harder but you can absolutely do it solo you can go in there you can explore lore you can check every single corner you s you can snap some nice photo to commemorate your success inside the pit you can do it if you are a lone wolf lone wanderer you can do it like in fallout 4 you can go by yourself you can take your time and if you don't have enough time to finish the progress is saved whichever objectives you accomplished those are saved you can jump back in continue later which is amazing that was not the case with a lot of other dungeons in other games. So here, that's a dungeon with progress being saved, even though it is a repeatable, farmable content. And you can start only one per day, but there is no limit on how many you can join to help others. And you still have ability to earn like almost the same rewards as whoever is starting those. So those are farmable. You can keep going in there, farming expeditions, and because you can start only one, it encourage everyone to join other expeditions. So it's super easy to find teammates for your expedition. The players are more active. There is more groups actually organizing, doing those expeditions. So definitely this system is boosting cooperation. It's not without a flaw, but it's working quite well. Generally, if we look at amount of bugs in this update, it is quite low, which is a good thing. Everything basically works. And even if something bugs out during the expedition, thanks to the fact that those are being saved, you can go back out from expedition and rejoin it which fixes 99% of possible bugs. So, the expeditions are a blast. I'm farming them. I have lots of fun. If you didn't try it, uh, somehow you are watching this video, definitely give it a shot. And now, part two will be coming tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.